The earthquake community is in complete agreement about what one should really be doing during an earthquake, and that is drop, cover, hold on. That actually means the first thing you do is drop to the ground before the earthquake throws you there, because we have seen lots of people injured by the earthquake shaking, literally throwing them to the ground. Then cover. Protect yourself from flying objects. The most likely way to get hurt is because of things flying around the room, computers flying across the room, heavy books, bookshelves coming over. So you want to try and protect yourself from those sort of things. If there is something nearby that you can hold on to, that you can keep a, a surface above you, especially a good desk or table, definitely go under that, but don't try to run a long ways to get to one. What one should not do is run outside because actually the outside of a building is more dangerous. The, the, the near side of an outside is the most dangerous place there is where you have bricks falling down, windows breaking, facades coming off. And to get outside you have to go past that. You also would then be moving during the earthquake, likely to be thrown to the ground and injured. One person in Northridge was even killed because she was running and got thrown and her head hit a, a balustrade and killed her. So uh, don't want to run outside. A triangle of life is also a fraud. It is based on completely fraudulent information. Uh, don't, don't listen to it. Uh, if you don't have something to cover you, being near like an interior wall is a good thing to do. It does protect you, you know, from things that'll be falling, but you don't know which way they're going to be falling, and it's not better than being under the table. The tables are not collapsing. So that's during the earthquake. After the earthquake, the first thing you do is check for injuries, help the people around you, and figure out how you're going to be recovering. And the best way to recover well is to have prepared beforehand. And I don't mean just storing water. Yes, that's really important. But most damage in an earthquake is preventable. You could be preventing it by hooking down your bookshelves, by retrofitting your home. Uh, you can also have a pretty good expectation. Earth very few people have earthquake insurance, and yet significant damage from an earthquake is more likely than many other things that you, that you do insure yourself for, for instance, a fire destroying your house. The earthquake damage is actually more likely. So there's quite a few things that you can do beforehand. If you go online, we have something called the seven steps to earthquake safety that really do try and lay this out, all the things that you can do to prepare beforehand, preventing damage and being ready to recover so that afterwards we're all going to be better off.